Welcome to Mystery to Mastery. Hi, and welcome to the all-new Mystery to Mastery website. My name is Greg Spence, and I'm the author of The Only Known Mystery Guide to Trumpet Mastery. Now, I often get asked, why did you write the book? And the simple answer is that uh, after reaching a playing plateau where I felt like I could get no better, I couldn't improve any techniques, I uh, basically turned around and decided to dedicate my life to figuring out why some people can do things on the trumpet that other people can't. And I've learned so much over the last, well, I wrote the book 10 years ago, but uh, I've been playing for almost 30 years. So I've had a lot of experience and a lot of that experience was, as I've learnt now, really bad techniques, incorrect ideas about how the uh, the instrument works. And uh, it's with thanks to especially Bobby Shu and Roger Ingram and Alan Vizzuti and Wayne Bergeron, these these amazing players and teachers that I've been fortunate enough, fortunate enough to uh, play next to and learn off and talk to about trumpet, that I've been able to basically learn some mind-blowing uh, information that has certainly helped my playing uh, uh, enormously and uh, thanks to modern technology I uh, can share some of that information with you. Um, as I said I reached a playing plateau, I was doing television at the time and playing theatre but I just knew there was some serious flaws uh, in my playing and, and so the journey that I went on researching many many books and and talking to as many people as I could has really uncovered some quite astounding uh, facts that most people in my experience uh, don't even realize uh, if you work through the lessons and have a look at the videos I'm sure there'll be some uh, some things there that will challenge the uh, accepted beliefs of brass playing now I grew up in a town called Wodonga in country Victoria and I didn't have access to the information that's around uh, or to players and teachers the, the caliber of, of Bobby and Alan and those guys. Um, so I basically had to learn myself and it was that, that is where your natural instinct uh, plays a natural role in how you develop. Now unfortunately our instincts are really a long way off the mark. So. I spent a, a, a lot of years practicing incorrectly. Now, especially after I was given uh, an amazing album by James Morrison called James Morrison at the Winery. Now, I listened to that album a million times and I could sing the solos to you off by heart. And in trying to copy the way James played, I realized that I couldn't do that and then tried to come up with all the physical strength and energy that I could muster to try and get the instrument to work the way that, that James makes it and it doesn't work like that so I've discovered after so long. Then luckily I got to meet uh, Bobby Shu and had a lesson off him and he basically in one hour confirmed the fact that I was doing a lot of things wrong uh, but that set me on the journey of discovery of, of researching and finding out how a piece of pipe resonates and how uh, I can train the body to do what that piece of pipe needs. Now, um, one night back in those days, I was listening to a radio station and heard an amazing sound. I wasn't quite sure what it was. It sounded like a trumpet only higher. And it turned out to be Maynard Ferguson, whom at the time I'd never heard of, uh, playing Fire Shaker. And then I heard a tune by Lee Morgan called Sidewinder, and that changed the direction of my, my playing forever. So they inspired me to to go on the journey that I did and look 20 years after I saw James play at the Aubrey Performing Arts Centre I was fortunate enough to be on tour with him and the seat that I was sitting in 20 years before I was looking at while I was up the front of the stage uh, playing and trading solos with him and I, I felt like that was a a bit of a reward for all the work that I'd done and quite frankly if I never did another gig after that day I felt like my career was successful now luckily I've had some amazing other highlights I got to play with Herbie Hancock with the Queensland Symphony up in Queensland and then uh, really amazing experience playing at Carnegie Hall 
as part of the uh, G'day USA Australia Week with the Adelaide Symphony. So with dedication and hard work, there are some great benefits to be had. So I um, hope that uh, you can look around the, the site, look at all the videos and the lessons and, and pick something up from them. Now, I'm always looking for things to uh, do videos on. So put a request in, um, shoot me an email. I'd love to uh, love to talk to you and, and get to know you and um, help you out as much as I possibly can and enjoy the site. Thanks very much.